Hey there, my name is Charlene and I work in the events team here at Kenneth Copeland Ministries. You know, when you try something new like a new sport, an activity, or food, you're really testing to see if you like it. Since you haven't really decided if it will work out or not, you haven't fully committed. Well, when it comes to new things we're told to do in God's Word, we're told to just do it. God isn't asking us to just try it. He is asking and expecting us to obey and do it. Our good friend Keith Moore explains it like this. The Lord never told you to do your best or to try. Try to or try not to. Never. It would imply that you might not be able to. It would imply that he might not know whether you could or not. When the Lord tells you to do something, he knows the end from the beginning. When he says, do this, before he said it, you couldn't do it. But the moment he said it, there's power in that word to enable you to do it. When he told Peter, come, this is not just a pep talk word. This is not just an encouragement, a -A A-OK. There's power in that word to get him out of that boat and on the water. Whatever God tells you to do in his word, just do it. He will always give you the power to carry it up. He isn't calling you to just try it in this life. He wants you to do it. When we do what the world sees as impossible or unlikely, we are showing them the power of God at work in us. So when God asks you to do something, when you see it as impossible, look at the command in his word. Don't try it, just do it. Thank you for stopping by today for today's Ministry Minute. Until next time, be bold in obeying God no matter what he asks you to do. And remember, Jesus is Lord.